Folks, yet another long-standing tension hanging over the world of esports has finally been broken as Dr. Disrespect announced today that he has finally ended his ongoing and still very mysterious legal battles with Twitch. And I'm not gonna lie to you, there's not a whole lot to dig into in this story. It's gonna be quick and fast, so we'll get you all the details we need, but we're not going to uncover the grand mystery in this, but we will get to look into some very, very exciting implications behind this announcement when it comes to the doc and his future content. Here's the tweet in question with the usual amount of flair we expect from the doc, simply stating, moving on, and showing off his signature on a card. I have resolved my legal dispute with Twitch. No party admits to any wrongdoing. Now, obviously, this leaves a lot of questions unanswered, but one does get addressed in a follow-up tweet. In response to all your questions, the doc will not return to Twitch. And this is really unsurprising. Whether or not anyone acknowledged any wrongdoing, whether or not anyone really revealed what was the issue that caused a split between the two, he was kicked off of Twitch. And YouTube is a platform that welcomed him with open arms, the most viable space for him to continue operating under his brand. The chances of him getting back onto Twitch, returning after whatever caused that break, whomever was the instigator in your opinion, were always gonna be slim to none. However, there is, like I mentioned, something interesting that can come from this when it comes to his relationship with not necessarily Twitch, but other Twitch content creators. As you can see in the replies, there are fans and fellow content creators alike, hoping that this means that there will be a possibility of greater interactions in the future. Amongst all the memes and well wishes are genuine calls for future collabs with both creators that he has performed with before and folks that might be his first time working with him. While it's still unconfirmed, there is a strong possibility here that the disrespect embargo could be lifted and content creators still on the Twitch platform might have the ability to work with them again now that everything is cleared up. However, like I said, there's a chance that might not be the case. We may never find out what exactly went down between Dr. Disrespect and Twitch and thus may never be able to form opinions regarding who was in the right and who was in the wrong. All we know for sure is that the following is really, really great news for anyone hoping to see more of the doc operating with more people. It seems like we'll be getting just as much, if not a whole lot more of our good, good Dr. Disrespect content as 2022 rages on. Let's go! And so here's where I once again turn things over to you, the beautiful viewing public, and ask how you feel about this situation. Do you feel like we will ever know the juicy details behind what went down with Dr. Disrespect and Twitch? And do you think that now that the air is clear, at least in a legal standpoint, that we'll be able to see him working with people that are still dedicated to our favorite purple platform? One way or another, when there is more news, whether it's announcement of a future big time collab or any other big time streamer drama, I'll be back with another video. And of course, Thank you for watching once again. That's all I got for you. But until next time, have yourselves a good one.